I am so excited because we are at a go-kart track race because we're gonna go head to head and see who wins. Jen, are you excited? I am actually very excited. So we are here at Speed Circuit and they rented out the whole place and we are gonna race one-on-one. One-on-one? One. You just rode in the car with me on the way here, so you got a teaser of how fast these little leggies can push that puddle. All right, we can't have it race without rigging up cameras on our cart. So, so check this out. We have a Sony RX-0 mounted in the front of the cart right over there. Get that nice front perspective. And uh, we also have another Sony RX-0 uh, on the back uh, held up by a magic arm. So that's gonna be really cool. Give us this downward um, a, a POV. And uh, yeah, we've got cameras throughout different corners. Uh, I might wanna wear another camera on my helmet. Maybe a cool, maybe another action camera like one of the, the corners or the apex of the, of the track, but oh, this is gonna be sick. So you can't race properly without having a racer outfit. So I'm gonna go get dressed. All right, so this is my outfit. It's um, it's a little bit too big and so I couldn't bring safety pins on the plane. So instead I use gaff tape to like pin myself. I pin myself with gaff tape. So there were a couple times when the camera fell down uh, behind my car. It's because I, I think I hit this turn over here, turn one. I think I hit it pretty pretty hard because I, I wanted to like pass up Jenna like right off the bat. Did you pass me up the first time? I don't remember. So I was in the lead for a couple minutes and then I got then, nervous because your camera fell down and I tried to tell them and then I realized that it didn't matter and I lost I lost the lead. So technically I would have, I'm confident it would beat you three at three. No, I don't think so. No, I don't I think, no, 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 I don't. I was ahead. No, well, be, I sped up, I found the, uh, the exit. I found the slipstream yeah, and I found it. Yeah, because I got word that your camera fell and then I was like, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. So then but I, who won the first race? You won the first. I won the first but race. I was in the lead until you passed me. When but I got who won worried. the first race? You did, but who won the okay. other two? But who, yeah. the first, who, won, who won the first race? Who won the you did, but who okay. won the second and the third? I won the first race. All right, we are back in the studio to film the second segment uh, for today's episode, which should be out by now. So if you want to check it out, links will be down below. But obviously I lost the race, but we're going to play Gran Turismo as my one last chance of redemption to win. Uh, but it's, speaking of the race, uh, let's go and talk about how we filmed that racing scene. All right, so I want to introduce you Ryan. He's been filming all the episodes of The Lowdown. He is fantastic. And he filmed this awesome racetrack scene. And I kind of want to ask him some questions, like his thought process, which cameras he wanted to use. Like, what went through your mind when trying to figure out what cameras to use, the gear, like your entire thought process and how to make the scene come to life? First of all, for you, I'm gonna pull back the curtains, tell all the secrets. So basically, we're doing a shoot for Sony, so I love using Sony cameras. And the big thing is, when you're doing a scene like this, you wanna make sure to get a variety of shots, right? So you wanna switch up the lenses. First of all, I like to start with like a wider lens, like a 16 to 35 G mask to really establish to the audience where we're at and what's going on. Then I like to go to the other spectrum. I got a 70 to 200, so really punch in and get that depth of field, right? And then from there, you wanna get like an action cam right get a really you know immersive shot so that's why we had rx zeros we had four of them two on your car two on jenna's car we had one camera facing them to really get you know the action and it's got some of the shake too which really kind of gets you in and immersed and then the second one's kind of a nice rear to get that angle and it's nice when other cars are passing you so it really makes you feel like you're involved in there and then the last but not least my favorite the gimbal you know, when you shoot gimbal, it's nice to have a really wide angle lens. That way it kind of deters from some of the shake and it's really smooth. So a lot of times when you guys were whipping around those corners, I was kind of doing an opposite action. So as you're coming one way, I'm coming the other and it just adds like almost a parallax. So man, 
What a, what a time! What a ball! Yeah, it, it was a, it was a crazy fun thing, and I, like what you're talking about, like opposing actions. Like that's something that not many people think about when they're filming certain scenes. You know, like yeah, they can follow cars, whatever. But you did opposing actions, which may not click to to a lot of people. But what you did, and like just the final result, it just looked it made the cars look faster. Right, and what that does is when you add motion in post, when you edit, it's not editing, you know, stills, right? It adds motion, and when one motion bleeds into another motion, it just makes these cuts and transitions very seamless. Ooh, I like that, emotions and shots. And then one last thing, so the choice of lenses. Now, mm -hmm. what do they do? Like, uh, 16 and 35, yes, it, it, it's a wider uh, perspective, but mm -hmm. when you're trying to capture fast-moving objects like go-karts with a longer lens, what does that yeah. do? So what the key is, when you have a long lens, you also want to have a fluid head tripod, which means you want to have something that's nice and smooth. You know, you can't have just a regular tripod and try to handhold it, but when you have that fluid head tripod, you can really get those nice buttery tracking shots and especially if you shoot at like a high frame rate like a 124k Ooh, chef's kiss that's chef's what kiss, <laughs> chef's kiss and i guess with longer lenses and you're trying to capture moving objects it, it, i guess it makes the objects appear faster right yeah faster and it kind of gives it that punch out feel yeah. like, you know when you're, you're shooting photos with like a 70 to 200 it almost looks like the subject is like cut out right because you can get that really blurry background especially at 200 millimeters and when you slow it down it just adds another tool to your arsenal because that's what we're trying to do right yeah we're trying to get as many different looks that way this content becomes engaging and people can't take their eyes off it and they don't get bored switch up your shots what was your favorite scene to film or I mean, maybe favorite part to film. My favorite part to film is when Sydney is whipping, doing fishtails in a go kart, <laughs> hit, bouncing off the walls, and he had a smile on his face the whole time. So that was my. I was trying to keep shot. a positive attitude because Jenna was beating me. She was smoking, beating the brakes off him. We don't, we, don't need to, we, don't, we don't need to say that. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Cool. Well, thanks, Ryan, for, for sharing your insights. And hopefully that was uh, helpful to you if you guys are filming something similar or whatever. But yeah, different lenses, different cameras, uh, different perspectives, uh, telling the story with emotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully you'll come up with something pretty cool like what he shot. Yeah, and another thing. If you're not following this guy, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with Tips, you? Tips, tricks, everything. Except Follow, for, subscribe. Except for racing. Apparently, I suck at <laughs> racing. <laughs> this is probably going to be my favorite part about filming today because check this out. Look at that. That is the original PlayStation, and Jenna's playing the original Gran Turismo. Oh my goodness, how is it? So good. So it's like this monitor or TV was also out in 1996. So it's what? like picture this. You know, you have the new PlayStation One. You got this new TV. We are living in 1996 right now. That that is crazy. That isn't that nuts. I mean, if you got. Let me know in the comments below if you guys remember that. Like that was that was my console right there. And Gran Turismo. Ah. So obviously my hands are full. I'm trying to lock focus on the controller and then on the monitor. <laughs> hey, it works. Does it does it work? Yeah, it works. <laughs> it's incredible. Well see, there you go. See look. Focus on the controller. Focus on the monitor. You got a little smudge right over there. That's just my slimy face. <laughs> Just wrapped the latest episode of The Lowdown, and it was actually a pretty intense episode. Like, it got it got pretty aggressive, especially with this one over here. You don't want to fight me. I, I mean, race me. Yeah, well, you don't want to do either. Anyway, check it out. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know. Do all the things. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm out. Bye.